In a story you'll see only on Action News Jax, down to his last two flares, an injured boater struggled to stay conscious in the water. This is new video showing the moment he was airlifted by first responders after two good Samaritans came to his rescue. I know he was scared. He was, he was in panic mode. Deputies say the man had a medical issue after his boat caught fire 12 miles offshore. It wasn't an easy or fast rescue to shore. Action News Jack's Amber Kriska was in Fernandina Beach, and the man says that he was surrounded by dozens of other boats, but only these two stopped to help him. He had shot off flares, and nobody even stopped or anything, even checked on him. He said he had waved at people, waved people down. Nobody responded to him. No one helped a local boater in trouble. I turned and looked around. There was probably 100 boats in eyesight of every one of us. Until this couple finally came to his rescue nearly two hours later. And you could look at him and tell that he was shaking and everything. I was just scared to death for the man. Paulette and Joe Henderson tell me they quickly jumped into the man's boat to help. Help. At one point, he, I bet he passed out 10 times with me. Um, at one point, he was puking. Um, I, I was very scared for him. The 55-year-old man told them he had an electrical fire on his boat. Deputies say he either suffered from a heart attack or an electrical shock. The man wasn't getting any better, so Joe called the Coast Guard. Coast Guard, Coast Guard, this is a distress call. The Hendersons tell me they were about 12 miles off the coast. They stayed with the man for about an hour and a half or so until the Coast Guard got there. The Hendersons say they are just thankful they got to the man when they did. I didn't tell him how he drifted out to sea. Because he was going out with the tide, the tide was going out. Coming to someone's aid, it's supposed to be the right thing to do. Joe hopes in the future it won't take two hours for someone to do it. Yeah, when you see people out there in distress, go to them, help them. The fish ain't worth somebody's life. Glad they were there. That was Amber Crisco reporting. Now, we did speak to the victim briefly today. He just got home from the hospital. He's doing okay. Still a little weak, but doing okay.